Hey everybody, what's happening? Jake here. Today in this video, we're going to be talking about a big update in regards to Scream 7. We got a huge bombshell dropped on us today, and that is that Nev Campbell is back, baby. Yes, Sydney Prescott will be returning for Scream 7. Not only Nev, but also Kevin Williamson will be at the helm of Scream 7 in the director's chair. I am lost for words. I've been I've been pretty nervous these last few months. You know, ever since that news dropped with the whole uh, thing with Melissa Barrera and Spyglass and then Jenna Ortega leaving and all this and that and I I was I've been on board with the whole new new Core 4 thing with Scream 5 and Scream 6. Don't get me wrong. I have been on board with that. But I grew up with the original trilogy. And I'm a sucker for, you know, my old trio with, you know, with Nev, David, and Courtney. You know, and, you know, with Nev Campbell being my, my all-time favorite. Sidney Prescott, the greatest final girl of all time. But, uh, you know, it, it sucked to see what happened with uh, Melissa Barrera and all that and then general leaving. I, I always thought, oh, that girl's going to get a little too big for her britches anyway and kind of walk off into the sunset and do her own thing. That movie for me, I, I was getting emotionally attached to Sam and that character because of the way that that uh, Sydney passed the torch to her. And I, I think that, that that sister dynamic was pretty cool with, with uh, Sam and Tara and, you know, no offense to Jenna Ortega, you know, I was more of a fan of Melissa Barrera's character than the whole Tara thing just because of Wednesday and all this and that, you know. I'm a fan of how Sydney kind of like passed the torch to Sam and it really meant a lot to me in the way that Scream 5 ended. But with how they've been, you know, Scream 7 has been in shambles, not knowing what's going to happen and this and that, and it's it's been a mystery. We, we didn't know, but we got some big, big news this afternoon, and that is that Nev, you know, they must have backed the money truck up to her house, you know. They must have given her what she wants. But, you know, I'm also one of those people who feels that Sydney's story has been complete for a long time, you know, for the better part of 24 years. I believe her story was completed in Scream 3, but Scream 4 came along and was fantastic, and the way that her character was utilized in Scream 5, I loved it. I didn't mind it because it it didn't focus on the legacy characters. It didn't focus on Dewey, Sydney, and Gale. It was them kind of sprinkling their legacy onto this new cast and I really liked that excuse me I remember how skeptical I was with Scream 5 and oh boy how are they going to do this without Wes Craven I don't know I, he, I was scared to death but I was blown away I was blown away I was a happy happy camper but to also hear the news that not only Nev is back, but Kevin Williamson is here to direct. Scream is his baby. He's his bread and butter. And it makes me feel deep down in my heart, there's probably nobody else that Wes would rather see Scream with than Kevin Williamson. It makes me think that Wes Craven would be happy to pass it down to, to Kevin Williamson because they were a team. They did it together. And that's just got me very, very excited to see what's going to happen. Like I said, don't get me wrong. I've been pleasantly surprised with these last two films. Don't get me wrong at all. I've loved them. I just just gave you guys my uh, Scream ranking. And I, you know, <laughs> I had to put Scream 5 and 6 somewhere. But I, I love every single one of those films. And it's, I'm very, very excited because of what's happening, I, I just remember how heartbroken I was and how excited my wife was when I told her that Nev wasn't coming back for Scream 6. And I was devastated and scared and worried, but in my, in my heart and in my brain, I knew her story was complete. 
and they had to try to prove to fans like you and I that they can do it without her. Yeah, they've made Halloween movies without Jamie Lee Curtis, you know. They can make a Scream movie successfully without Nev Campbell, and they proved that last year with Scream 6. But, she, you know, with her saying what she has to say and her being on board with this, it makes me a lot more optimistic that we're going to get what our diehard fans want to see. I, I have a funny feeling it's going to be leaning into some sort of a story with her and Mark and the, her family and what's happening in her life now. I really, really hope, I hope we don't, it doesn't feel like a sequel to Scream 3. That scares me a little bit. I, you know, I want this, this timeline to continue. I want this to be a sequel to Scream 6. I want this to be Scream 7. I remember a few weeks back hearing some rumors that they could have done an, an H2O kind of thing with Scream and Sydney could have been, you know, having like the after effects of like the first three movies and then come back years later. I, you know, I'm not a ginormous fan of Halloween H2O. I really wouldn't have wanted to see that, but maybe they could have pulled it off. We'll see what happens. I, I just hope they take their time and do it right. I do not want this rushed. And I, I think Kevin Williamson is smart enough to know to take his time and do this right. I hope I hope Kirby comes back. I hope Hayden Panettiere is back for this and we, we have a moment with uh, Sid and, and Kirby together. I'm, I'm sure Courtney Cox will be back. I mean, she don't need the money. She's still reaming in all the cash from all the Friends reruns on TV and everything. But I, I hope that this new film, I hope we see a... I don't know, uh, like an after effect of of what the what the passing of Dewey has done to Sydney in her life, and especially with Gail. I mean, to see her just hop on to you know that boyfriend she was with in Scream Six and have him get destroyed immediately was kind of cool. But I hope we get some moments with the two of those characters in their their dwelling of Dewey's passing and and to see what it's like without without him. You know, that would be kind of cool to see how they how they've been affected by that. I'm I'm hoping we get to see that. Not saying we will. Not saying we won't. That's just kind of me personally. I would love to see that. And also, it's you know, I've been I'm thrilled that you know she just she stepped away. She she it, she just came out and told us for Scream Six, you know, I you know, we we couldn't come to an agreement, so I'm not going to be in this film. And she's jumping out and telling all these people, you know, she went on her Instagram and gave a big story this morning, and it's got fans like me all wound up and excited. But like I said, I want them to take their time and do it right and hash this story out and give us something interesting, not something stale and boring. I don't want. I don't want that character forced. I want it to feel natural. And that's where I feel like Kevin Williamson is going to help. You know, it would have been interesting with a different director, but I think it's best with that man because those two know each other very, very well. So if you guys want to let me know your, your thoughts in the comments down below, I'd really appreciate it. I'm sure... <laughs> I mean, I don't know how many of you guys are as big of fans of Nev Campbell as I am and Sidney Prescott being where, where she ranks on your final girls list. But, you know, let's see what you guys have to say about Scream 7. What do you want to see? You know, what would be cool for you? I mean, something I'm thinking about, too, is, you know, are we going to see Chad and Mindy? Are we going to see the Meeks twins? Are they going to be gone just because Sam and Tara are gone? We don't know yet. I personally wouldn't mind seeing them back, but we're going to see what happens. Nothing nothing too crazy is happening yet. We just got the big announcement with, with Nev and Kevin. So we're going to see what happens in the next few days, next few weeks, next few months, but feel free to let me know down below. And uh, also in this video, I want to I wanna thank, thank you guys very, very much. I've been doing this YouTube thing for about a month now. I've released eight or nine videos and... The feedback I've been getting is is really, really encouraging. 
It's been awesome, and it's really inspired me to want to keep going, and I'm having a blast doing this, you know? I am a big, big horror fan, and I have a lot of things I want to talk about. I'm sure that, like I said, I've, I've, I've tried to, you know, respond and appre show appreciation to everybody who's left a comment down below and to see see all the fans out there. It's it's awesome. It's great. And it makes me very, very happy. And I, I just can't wait to see what the future holds. You know, I'm just I'm just a guy in my house trying to have fun. And I'm just a huge horror fan I'm talking about Scream today. And I just whew, can't wait to tell my wife the good news. She's not going to be a happy camper. I'm sorry. I'm an unabashed Nev Campbell fan. Hey, my wife is an unabashed Melissa McCarthy fan. Is there anything wrong with that? No, there isn't. I mean, my two favorites of all time, my favorite male actress of all time, Harrison Ford. Harrison Ford will always be Han Solo to me. He will always be my Indiana Jones. I own basically every, Han, every Harrison Ford movie there is. And then the same thing, it's a little weird. That, you know, you say, oh, Nev Campbell's your favorite actress. Yeah, I mean, yeah, she might have been, you know, my first crush as a little kid. But, you know, I loved Party of Five growing up. You know, I, I love the, the Lincoln Lawyer. That came out a few years ago. I've been watching that, you know. I remember watching her on House of Cards and all the Scream films, obviously. I own basically all of her movies. You know, Twisted Metal came out last year, and I'm hoping that season two leans a little bit more into the original games, and Raven is a more prominent character. But uh, just all you guys watching, thank you very, very much. I really, really appreciate it. And like I said, let me know your thoughts down below. Until next time, take it easy. Peace out.